There are several different approaches to use to inject the coffin joint or the distal interphalangeal joint. We're going to demonstrate four, the dorsal lateral or dorsal medial approach, the dorsal parallel approach, the dorsal perpendicular approach, and the lateral approach. The dorsal lateral approach, which can be done medial or lateral, is about a finger breadth above the coronary band. The needle is inserted on an angle toward the extensor process until fluid is, escapes. The dorsal parallel approach, again, is aimed toward the dorsal outpouching or the proximal outpouching above the extensor process. It is, per, is performed by placing the needle just above the coronary band on the midline and putting the, placing the needle parallel to the ground. The fluid escapes. And it should go easily. dorsal perpendicular approach is similar, only instead of angling the needle parallel to the ground, it's perpendicular angled down toward the proximal outpouching of the coffin joint. See we do not have fluid there. I can feel the needle on the cartilage. So I'll withdraw fluid, and you can see I'm getting fluid back in the hub, and then now we're getting actually fluid out of the joint. Okay, the lateral approach is performed just above the collateral cartilage in approximately the middle of the second phalanx. You're essentially going into the palmar pouch and you're angling down toward the opposite heel ball, approximately 45 degrees to the weight bearing surface until you get fluid. There's some thought that if you use a one inch needle, you're less likely to get into the tendon sheath using this approach. This is probably the least commonly employed uh, technique to inject the coffin joint um, by most clinicians.